possible that maybe they were looking for such information. They wanted it so badly. Have you ever worked for the Russian government? Uh, do you have connections to the Russian government? No. Matthew Chance is live in Moscow with more. Matthew? Thanks very much. Well, I think it was uh, very interesting that in that interview, uh, Natalia Veselnitskaya, who is that Russian lawyer we've just uh, seen speaking to uh, the NBC reporter here, uh, basically uh, denied that she had uh, any kind of compromising information uh, from the Russian government or from anyone else uh, about the uh, Democratic Party and about Donald Trump's then uh, opponent in the race for the White House, uh, Hillary Clinton. Of course, uh, that was what we were, uh, we were told was the basis for that meeting uh, being held. But they wanted to hear information like that. She said they wanted it badly. So it talks to the idea that this was an offer from a Russian citizen uh, to come into Trump Tower and to, and to give you know, kind of uh, negative information about a political opponent in the United States. And Donald Trump Jr. signed up to that, scheduled a meeting, and brought in senior members of the campaign team as well. And I think that speaks volumes about what was going on, potentially, in that campaign at the time when this, when this offer was made. From the Kremlin's point of view, they've tried to distance themselves as much as possible from this. They haven't commented on this latest, uh, you know, allegation of, a, of an email, this, this uh, revelation has been an email saying that they were implicated, but they have said they don't know who this lawyer is, they don't monitor the meetings that every Russian lawyer has in Russia and abroad. And so they've, as I say, attempted to distance themselves as much as possible from this latest damaging episode. All right, Matthew Chance for us in Moscow, thanks so much. This latest controversy comes at a pretty crucial time. A source tells CNN the Senate Intelligence Committee is expected to begin interviewing Trump campaign officials this week. Now with us, a member of that committee, Senator Joe Manchin, Democrat of West Virginia. Senator, thanks so much for being with us. The news this morning, you've been in the middle of it all. The New York Times reports that Donald Trump Jr. was sent an email that the information he was going to get in this meeting with the lawyer was part of a Russian government effort to help his father's campaign. And as far as we can tell this morning, no one associated with Donald Trump Jr. is denying the existence of this email. Your reaction? Well, it tells you how low we've sunk in politics in the United States when you're taking, uh, willing to take a meeting to try to help you in the political, uh, in the political fight of your life uh, from an adversary who's trying to do us harm and destroy us as a country. Uh, just how we've sunk in this low in the process and think it's acceptable is, is un unbelievable to me. So Richard Painter, who, whom you know is an attorney and also, uh, you know, formerly uh, led the ethics division of the Bush White House, said this is akin to treason. Do you think it is? I don't know what the the, uh, uh, the criminal uh, ramifications of this uh, of this uh, action is or this meeting. We're going to find out. But even if it has no criminal implications whatsoever, it's just I mean you just don't do things. This is not using good common judgment. I've said this before. Coming from the private sector to the public se sector and the Trumps being as successful as they've been as a family, that's a difficult change. But you have to, un you have a campaign manager. Managers around you have people around you that set the parameter, and to have a campaign manager, if it was Paul Manafort, who should have never been the campaign, Paul openly said, you know, he's for hire. He'll take a dollar from anybody for any reason or any purpose, and he's done that. Uh, it's just, just, it's just such a bad, bad scenario. For lowest part of that rung is going to be immune from this. So just we'll see where clear. it goes. We'll just see where it goes. Just to be clear, Senator, what the White House uh, and, and allies of Donald Trump Jr. says, you know what, nothing nothing came of this meeting. You know, they're not denying that they were offered information from the Russian government to help the father, but nothing came of that meeting. It Is that the appropriate measurement to gauge no. whether or not this was something? Go, go ahead. No, you can't. I mean, no. Uh, I've been in many cattle their goods to make themselves look important, uh, thinking they've got a scoop and this and that. We know when it's credible or not. You do enough due diligence and you've got good people around you can make good decisions. And a campaign that thinks they're behind the eight ball, 
thinking we'll do whatever it takes. Well, you might do whatever it takes in the private sector to get a one-up, if you will, an advantage on your competitor for the sake of uh, being successful. But in the public sector, in a transparent way, and the laws that we have to obtain, you know, uh, work under, uh, this is not acceptable, and no, no one can defend it as being acceptable behavior, especially with someone like Russia. So you would think that you would sit down thinking Russia is going to be your friend and what's the purpose of them wanting you to have an advantage? Senator, you, you have a race coming up and sure. a, the argument has been made by some around the president that this is, including Donald Trump Jr. by the way yesterday, <coughs> this is how opposition research works. Just to be very clear for you, no matter how tough your campaigns have been or your races will be, if you were offered information through a source from the Russian government,